Welcome back to Ozarks Tonight. Well, it is getting warmer here in the Ozarks and everyone's excited to get back on the beautiful lakes, rivers, all the waterways here in the Ozarks, but we want to make sure you guys are safe uh, before you head out on the lake this year. So we brought in a couple guests. Corporal David Brown with the Marine Division of the Missouri Highway Patrol is here and Sergeant Jason Pace from the Missouri Highway Patrol is here as well. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for the opportunity. Uh, yeah, we just want to make sure that everyone is prepared before they go out on waterways. Um, before they head out, first thing, before they think about putting the boat in the water uh, this year, what are some things they need to be thinking about just to make sure that they are ready and prepared? Well, it is the, this time of year when we're starting to see increased traffic on our waterways, especially as we get closer to the holiday period, uh, there's going to be a lot of recreational boating activities. And so we're just asking people to do their part. Of course, being safe out there on the waterways and just making sure that your equipment and everything is in good working order before heading out. Mm -hmm. What kind of licenses? Um, I know that's probably a question people have a lot of the time. What kind of licenses do people need to make sure they have before they operate a, a boat on a waterway? Well, operating the vessels on the waterways, individuals who are born after January 1, 1984, just need to have their boater safety card. Um, really, that's your only license that you need, unless you're old enough to be grandfathered in and don't need it. So, And it's important to recognize on that, if, if you need the training, you can. we have courses set up throughout the state. Um, additionally, they can take that course online. Um, so um, if they're born after the January 1st, 1984 time frame, then it is required by law. Anytime they're going to operate a personal watercraft or a boat, then they're required to have that. A lot of people don't re realize that even on the, the personal watercraft, they have to have some sort of uh, licensure, and then so that's what's required um, under the Missouri state law. And before they head out, if they have uh, you know passengers or if they're there on the, the vessel by themselves, uh, what kind of uh, life-saving uh, procedures do they need to make sure they have in place? How many life jackets do they need to have oars in the boat just in case a motor failure? What all do they need? Well, the required equipment is fire extinguishers, horns, whistles, um, make sure their lighting's good, all that aspects. But the biggest safety issue for Life-saving would be their personal flotation devices, or PFDs as we call them. And everybody on board a vessel 16 length or longer, they need to have one U.S. Coast Guard approved personal flotation device for each person on board and or being towed behind them. And those need to be a type 1, 2, or 3 personal flotation device in addition to one type four throwable device. And back to the equipment check on that, it's important because a lot of times they've been stowed away for several months take those out, make sure they're in good working condition. Um, and then, of course, when you're out there on the waterways, make, their, make sure they're accessible. Stowed up under the seats is not accessible. So if there's an emergency situation, of course, they need to be uh, available for that individual. A couple things I want to touch on real quick. A lot sure. of people like having fun on the lake oh, when yeah. they go out. If you're pulling a, uh, a tube or some sort of device, a water skier behind your boat, um, what kind of, uh, I guess, identification do you need to have on your boat just so others can make sure they know that and see that person behind you? Well, generally you have your skier down flag that's on your vessel, um, but as long as you're in the act of towing someone and no one's actually physically in the water, that flag needs to stay down out of view okay. per state law. If that individual does enter the water, then the flag needs to be displayed so other boaters in your vicinity know there's someone in the water and they can stay away. There's going to be alcoholic beverages con uh, consumed on the uh, on the waterways oh, yeah. this year. Yeah. Uh, just kind of run through the regulations real quickly. Uh, are people allowed to drink when they're in a boat? Who is allowed to drink yeah. and who's not allowed to drink? Um, that's like anything. Anyone in that vessel, they can drink intoxicating alcoholic beverages. Um, however, the operator of a vessel, the same law applies, um, you know, Zero eight is the legal blood alcohol mm -hmm. limit. So my recommendation, if you're operating the vessel, just like if you're operating a vehicle, time and a place. If you're the operator, don't do it. Um, accidents happen. However, for state law, the passengers of a motor vehicle, or motor vehicle and or vessel, and in this case, the vessel, mm -hmm. they can drink. As so long as just, they don't get behind the, the wheel yeah. if they're over the. Uh, Again, this the is the Missouri state law, yeah. so there can be open containers. Of course, the driver cannot be consuming that mm -hmm. that alcoholic beverage just as as if you were on the roadway. Um, we have a zero tolerance policy on that. We know that we 
alcohol is a contributor to fatal crashes on our roadway as well as our waterways and we take that very very seriously mm -hmm. and so we just ask people to have a plan in place if you're going to be out there if alcohol is going to be a part of your plans designate that sober driver make sure they're sober and not consuming that alcoholic beverage the last thing i want to ask you about uh, before we let you guys go national safe boating week uh, when is that taking place and what uh, resources are you so guys it goes providing? through from may 18th through the 24th and this is an opportunity for you just to have Take a, take a look at your equipment. We talked about the, the boat, the vessel, the life jackets. Take a look at your trailer. You know, your, your, your trailer's been sitting there, your boat's been sitting there for several months, ensuring that you're good to go before heading on the water. Um, as a service to the public, uh, we as the Highway Patrol throughout the state are gonna be holding uh, free inspection stations where they can come and they can go onto our uh, website, the Missouri State Highway Patrol's website, to look at these, look for these locations and they, uh, we will have officers there inspecting your, your vessel, your trailer, your life jacks to make sure they're in good working order before heading out. All right, gentlemen, thank you so much for, for sure. coming in today. Appreciate thank you. It. Ozarks tonight, we'll be right back with more after this.